Hi everyone, um, I'm back with Karen Edwards again and today we're actually going to talk about leadership. Hi Karen. Hey, how's it going? It's storming out, but it's going good. Um, <laughs> whoa, we're going to talk about leadership, your favorite thing. It is my favorite and, thing. <laughs> <laughs> in your own words, what is leadership? Leadership is the best part of Avon <laughs> and it is, um, leadership is uh, sharing the love of Avon with other people, um, which results in you making money and them making money. And I don't know, I've kind of like just, that, that's the, the bare bones of what it is, but it's, it's enjoying the success of business with others and mentoring them and sharing with them and, and running together the race, you know, and, uh, and really, it is the most lucrative part of Avon. It really is. Okay, so if I was just starting with Avon, and I wanted to learn a little bit more about leadership, so I have, you know, a few customers, and then I meet with you, what would you go over? What would be the first thing to show me what leadership would be about, and the actions I would need to take to start? Okay, so if you're already a, a representative or you've been a representative for, you know, and you know those ropes and we're going straight to leadership, um, you know, what are the, 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 what are the ropes of leadership is you want to, I mean, your first step is to, to, to make a list of people. We always talk about a business list, but there's a purpose to that. You know, you're making a list of people, not of customers, but of people, other people who are like you, who would be interested in uh, making money, who would be interested in, uh, you know, meeting other people, uh, but who are interested in sharing their love of the product, okay? But I guess the underlying thing about about this you can do those things as a representative but when you're a sales leader you're doing this because you're building a larger business because you can okay. sell a lot of Avon as a representative but you can sell yeah. even more Avon as a group right as a team and so mm -hmm. you're looking for people who want to build a, a, a larger business right because even okay. representatives that's that's a uh, that's an Avon business, and then this is more of what I like to call an Avon empire because you can have countless numbers of people on your team. Um, when you're a representative, you're physically restrained. You can only you know you can only serve so many customers, right? But this way, there's yeah. more people that are getting served because there's a lot of you involved. And you know, if, if money is something that they're interested in, then, then this is the way to do it. So you're going to be making a list of people who are like, is like, are like-minded, who want to make some extra income and, mm -hmm. um, who are willing to set plans and goals and have a vision for long-term growth and, and okay. expansion. So would I need to keep, um, customer sales going to actually become a leader or could I just not bother well the way it is and the way I would like it to be no the way it is is that uh, yes we all sell we all sell okay. but some of us mm -hmm. sell and some of us are leaders okay so that's the whole thing okay. you make money two ways with Avon you you sell your products you make your money but you can also build a team and make earnings that way too so you do keep your your, your sales and of course I will just say right now um, uh, when you are a sales leader you know and you're inviting people to join your team and become sales representatives then it's not very yeah. good if you're not selling if you're not selling products yourself how can you give advice about selling products right and so you know, you want to set the bar. And uh, personally, I've always been a presence club member or higher. And the way mm -hmm. I see it is, I can't tell my representatives, you know, you really should be a sales, uh, a presence club member, because that's where you're really earning some good money at that point. Um, if I'm not a presence club member myself, right. And so, oh. you know, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you that, uh, and, and leading the way as an example. So, you know, you want okay. your people to earn money by their sales and by being a sales leader. So for any of the ladies and gentlemen that um, have not pursued leadership or maybe they're thinking about it, do you have the comp plan with you? I we do. Briefly. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> now, so. Perfect. Oh, you're cutting in and out on me, Melissa. Oh. 
Can you, it's that storm. Can you oh, hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you now. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. So you want me to just touch base on this? Yes. Yeah. If you want to touch base, because I think there's a lot of people that are not really familiar with it as of yet, but they're going to get very familiar with it right now. <laughs> okay. So what I'm going to do then is I'm just going to go lightly over it. I'm not going to exactly. bog, bog people down, um, but no. um, the, they have made two um, flyers for us now. Okay, so one mm -hmm. is the actual uh, leadership compensation plan, and then this other yes. one is our recognition programs, and uh, this talks about sales as well as leadership rewards, okay? Oh, I really, wow. Yeah, I, uh, I really wish the leadership rewards were in the compensation plan, too. I've given that hint to head office. Okay, <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, because that's part of it, right? So, we're, you know, when you... Exactly. When you when you get this, you know, we've got this shebang from good old Gorin, our president. So he says some wonderful things to us, but we're just going to skip over Gorin for now. But, uh, <laughs> no offense, Gorin, if you see this, but we're going to go right into making some money here. Okay, so with, with leadership, it all starts with inviting five people to join Avon. Exactly. Okay? So we mm -hmm. want to keep it simple. It's reaching out, sharing your love of Avon, like I said, asking who's interested in making some money, and let's get your first five people, okay? Because your first five people uh, at $850 combined uh, team sales is mm -hmm. a unit, okay? And that's when you become a sales uh, a, a unit leader and uh, you're making little bonus money along the way $20 and you're not going to get too much into that but then this is the nice little um, let's find that so these are the uh, nice cash bonuses you get so when you hit unit leader if you do that in um, I'm going blind so here yes if you do that in three campaigns or less that's $500 cash bonus put into your pocket and that's, yes. that is achieve and maintain. Mm -hmm. So that's split up over four campaigns, but $500, who's going to say no to that, right? If you do it in less than three campaigns, you get $300. And you'll see all along, all along the way here, um, right up until $55,000 worth of cash bonuses for achieving these different levels. I mean, that's some very nice money. And we have people who have gone from unit, you know, to AUL, to executive, um, all within a year period. And so mm -hmm. you're making those nice cash bonuses. Um, then you're making some on here, you're making commissions off of your team. And we won't get into yes. too much of that because I don't want to bog you down. But then yeah. there's the fast track. This is where beautiful things start happening. And as soon as you become a, a unit leader, then you are put into the fast track. And the fast mm -hmm. track represents $5,000 worth of cash bonuses to you. Okay. Guaranteed, oh, wow. guaranteed if you follow the program. And what, what does it mean to follow the program? It tells you that you need to have a $125 personal order yourself. It tells you mm -hmm. that you need to add a new representative every single campaign or more yes. that has a $50 order uh, or more. Uh, it tells you that you need five uh, active uh, team members participating in every campaign. And it tells mm -hmm. you how much your team sales has to be each time. And then you're going to be making the, this bonus money along the top, you know, or your commissions, whichever is more, whichever is greater. Okay. And if you achieve each one along the way, then you get a thousand dollar cash bonus at the end. Now, this is very achievable. This is basically what I call good business practices every single campaign, which is talking to people, getting sales yourself, of course, but teaching your team how to get sales, um, yeah. adding somebody new every time, right? So does this mean sitting on your uh, behind in your chair and not talking to people or reaching out or prospecting? Exactly, because you still need your personal sales to achieve as well. So yeah, you need your personal sales, but you need to keep finding those new team members, right? And exactly. so at the end of this, so if you do that every campaign, then you're going to achieve that money. And the beautiful thing is that's just the, 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 the basic you could act. We actually have people on our shine divine team that have made over $10,000 in this program. I know. Exactly. And so the, you, because why, because then you go back to those, uh, to, to the, um, to the achieve and you go to the, um, actual, uh, matching bonus which i didn't talk about so when somebody on your team hits unit leader you get the matching bonus right and every time they hit a, a new title you get the matching bonus and so there's a lot of money on the table here and this is a great start so when you come out of this fast track 
you should be an advanced unit leader, okay? So you're at the next level or even higher, okay? So yes. the thing is, you know, and then what you've done is if you've gotten through this program and you've achieved mm -hmm. those things, then you are well on your way to a great sales leader career with Avon because you have done, you've learned the good business practices. You know to be talking to people. You know to be prospecting. You know to be training and developing those mm -hmm. people to teach them how to become uh, leaders themselves, right? And you're making that exactly. money. But not only is there cash money, which I, is my favorite, quite frankly, <laughs> but there's also in this rewards flyer, there are um, trips, right? There's uh, trips that you can achieve. Um, th these are presents. Well, no, here, where's our, here's our leadership. Okay, so with your leadership, I mean, this, this trip right now for this upcoming year is to Vienna, Austria. I mean, how many people are there? there? Right? Of course. <laughs> Now, how many people out there have ever been to Vienna, Austria? You know what's funny about this trip? I had never even thought of Vienna. And, like, I'm so excited now because it's so different, right? And so, so th there's that trip to Vienna. There's a car allowance, which I'm happy mm -hmm. to say that I'm one of only four this year that earned it. So I'm excited about that. Extra $8,000 in my pocket every year. Thank you so much. And, uh... And, you know, and there's always additional uh, trips and things that they put on for us when you're a sales leader. And so, mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I've got something in my eye. So, um, this is something to pursue. If you uh, need to have some extra money in your life, mm -hmm. here, this is that. If you want some extra excitement, here's, here's that, right? You get both. Exactly. And I actually earn a more than a full-time wage. I make some significant money with my Avon business. I make, mm -hmm. um, you know very good money and i'm very pleased with it so if you want to have money uh then you want to pursue uh this fast track bonus right and yes. get your business established well mm -hmm. and there's work behind that um i'm gonna just come right out you've been with avon many years mm -hmm. um this isn't something that you just walked into and started making significant money in a campaign so for me um I just want everyone out there to know that how your story started with that. Was this something that you just walked into and had no problems or did you have to work at it, Karen? Oh, I worked. I worked. <laughs> it. You asked my family. I worked really hard at this business. You know, you cannot expect to achieve great things if you're not willing to put the time and the work into it. And, you know, there was no blood, but when people say blood, sweat, and tears, <laughs> you know, you know, <laughs> I worked hard, and I, and I, and I don't want to sound like a jerk, but I, I deserve my business. I worked hard for this business, yes. and so, uh, you know, nobody handed me anything. Oh my goodness, and I don't have an upline either. So, and oh, wow. I started, <clears throat> and I started back when uh, leadership was brand new. Uh, only going for a year in, in, in Ontario as a test group, and then it came out here, and it had been going mm -hmm. a short time, and I came out, and I had to discover everything for myself. And so I'm telling you that um, I've worked very hard for it, but, and that was before Facebook, that was before, you know, a lot of people even had the internet, that was before crazy smartphones, that was before all kinds of lives and, uh, and these crazy videos, it was before yes. all of this stuff. <laughs> and I actually had to go out and talk to human beings, and I had to go to events, and I had to do face-to-face -face and door-to-door -door and all those kinds of things. Well, I didn't go door-to-door, -door, but I actually, I went mailbox to mailbox, I can't lie there. <laughs> but the point is, is that I got out there and I did what I needed to exactly. do to build my business. So if somebody looks at me and says, oh, you know, well, you know, you've got that big team and they're doing X, Y, and Z. Well, how do you think I got that big team, right? I worked, I worked for it. And the beautiful thing is you can do it too. That's the whole thing about the Avon business. We actually have people in Avon Canada who have surpassed their leader, okay? So, wow. you know, Anybody, even on my team, you can mm -hmm. surpass me if you work hard and work your business. So that's the, the thing is nobody's held back by anything. The only thing that holds you, is holding you back is you. You can build big and enormous and, uh, and your own huge empire, and, uh, and it's all yours. And so it's beautiful. And you got to work. You. I love that. 
So I'm going to start asking you a few questions. Um, my first one, what is the most important decision you make as a leader to improve your business? I, I think that the most important decision is, is to, um, is to, to work. <laughs> it's kind of like, you know, because that's really what it comes down to. The beautiful thing about Avon or a, a being a sales leader is that I am my own boss. And you guys, if any of you see me on Facebook, I'm always, I always do hashtag do what I want. You know, I might go to the yeah. movies three times in two weeks or I might run off and I have every week I've got my glamour day, you know, because I've got my baby. Everyone see this. <laughs> <laughs> but um and i and i get to to um, determine my schedule and so i love that part about being my own boss but the mm -hmm. other side of that coin is that because i don't have to answer to anybody then the temptation is not to work and so if you don't have a, a time clock to punch or you don't have any boss to answer to mm -hmm. or to put your hours in for it, it, you, it takes self-discipline and so I think that's the biggest challenge people have is they think that they're just, oh, I'm going to work from home and I'm going to sit in my pajamas all day and I'm going to do X, Y, and Z and just, you know, and sitting there drinking coffee and eating bonbons. That's not how business is run. No, I know some people do sit in their pajamas all day and that's fun for you. I don't do that because I, I, uh, I try to, I'm running a business and it makes me feel, uh, more business like, and, um, what is it focused when I'm ready to do business you know what I'm saying and so yes. that's just me though I know we're all different but you have to make sure that you schedule your time and you have to do the work do not think because you have a home-based business that it means that you're just sitting at home you have to actually work exactly and I think with a business your home business um, it's your empire a business will only thrive if you take that plan and make the actions happen. So I fully agree with you on that one. Now, this is because your team's always growing and we know that. As your team grows larger, there can be a tendency for maybe some negativity um, to dampen the inspiration. How do you keep this from happening? Because we know life, there can be negativity. Um, sometimes it's put out there. So how do you help try to dampen that down? Okay, so a couple things for that. Um, I have my own Shine Divine family group, team group. That's okay. my first generation and all the generations in my team are in my Shine Divine, which I love. And um, in my group, uh, people know that I like to keep things positive. I don't let negative yeah. talk happen in my group. I'm not saying that people can't express a problem or a frustration, mm -hmm. but <clears throat> pardon me, but it's not put there so that people can just then whine and complain and be baggish about it, <laughs> you know, and mm -hmm. just be negative. That's not allowed. What I do when I see a post that is, has a problem or a concern or a frustration, then it's okay to express a problem, but as long as you're giving a solution. Exactly. If you're, if you're saying a problem just to be nasty about it or to be ugly about it, that doesn't solve any problems. And then that is like poison to you, your business, exactly. and, and to the rest of the team. And I love my team and I love my business and I don't let people pour poison into my team or my business. And so I would really encourage those of you out there who are already leaders, if you've got some of that in your team, that you stop it, you know, nip it in the bud and stop it as soon as it starts. Mm -hmm. um, there are groups out there that have some big, huge negativity in, and I think that they're just poison. And I have removed myself from those because I don't need that. I would go into those groups and read things and even me, I'd be like, oh, because I'm pretty upbeat about stuff, you know? And I'd be like, oh, it's the weight of the world on my shoulders because of this, this, you know, X, Y, and Z. And I just thought, you know what? I don't need that. And I sure don't want my people, my team members in there. So I, I discourage people from going into negative places. But uh, for you, be positive and always find a solution because there always is a solution. Exactly. And I think with social media, um, Worst mistake, we sometimes we put that information, if we're having a bad day, we post about it, and it can really affect your business. If you're having a bad day, 
do not post that on the Facebook that all of your customers and team members exactly. are looking at. Do exactly. not swear and tell people off on the Facebook that your customers and team members see. If mm -hmm. you have that kind of colorful Facebook, that's fine, <clears throat> but keep that for your personal. Put your customers and your uh, team members on your uh, on your fan page or your group mm -hmm. or your Avon uh, directed Facebook because that in and of itself I have seen people lose customers and team members because yes. of the things they've posted um, you know what don't I've got very strong opinions and if you all know me you know I do <laughs> I've got you know uh, political opinions I've got religious mm -hmm. opinions and those are things that I keep for the right uh, group of people. That's, you know what, uh, whatever your political ilk is, I don't care. I still want you to join my team or I still want you to buy my Avon, right? You know? And so I'm not putting that on there because then somebody might look and say, ah, oh, Karen's X, Y, or Z, I don't want to join her team. And, you know, and make that, that's, that's silly. It, it doesn't matter. Um, so keep your, your, those things positive. Mm -hmm. And my goodness, do not remember people are looking at that I actually yeah. look people's Facebook stuff if I'm going to do business with somebody I look them up just like a lot of employers do I do too <laughs> yeah. I it's do. like you know what is this person really like and if I see that you know what um, it's like Lisa Wilbur one of the top leaders in the US she's like she's selective on who she brings onto her team and I don't want to bring poisonous people onto my team. So sometimes yeah. I just, I, I, I bypass people. I'm like, I'm not going to sign that person up because, and I'm choosing not to, because that is, I want to protect my family in real life. And I want to protect my shine divine family, my team. I don't want negativity coming in there and that kind of poison. So be careful what you do out there, people. Perfect. Thank you. So what is the most important to you within your team? The most important thing for me within my team is the success of my representatives and team members. So that is in sales. If somebody mm -hmm. says that they want to be a sales representative and focus on sales only, yeah. wonderful. And I want them to be successful um, because the more they sell and the more they earn, the happier they are. So if they hit gold and they hit President's Club then and they're satisfied and happy with that and maybe higher, then wonderful. Some people just really love sales and that's what they want to focus on. And I'm thrilled with that. So I want to encourage them. I like to put out ideas on how to sell more, um, how to, how to earn more, that type of thing. So that's their success. Uh, for the sales leaders, I want people to uh, achieve title. I want people to achieve their bonuses because again, mm -hmm. it's the same principle. The, the more money they're earning, the happier they are. And when you are a team, it really is, all of our success so the more successful my representatives and my team members are and sales leaders are the more successful I am and that's why I like to um, pour my time and effort into them I don't leave you know you don't sign people up as a sales leader and just hold, and, and send them off their merry way or push them out of the nest right away or toss no. them off the cliff you have to train them and you have to develop them and they have to feel comfortable. And very often uh, for representatives, it takes two or three campaigns for them to get their feet wet and feel comfortable. And, and then, you know, and then a lot of them are good to go. And then it's when they have issues, they might, you know, bring those up, but you're sharing ideas and all of that kind of thing. But really as a sales leader, our purpose is to make sure that our team members are successful. Okay. I thank you. And coming to this, building is crucial to your business, especially um, when you have a team as big as you do. So how do you ensure you set aside time to recruit? Okay, so this is kind of like our time management thing, which I am not mm -hmm. the best time manager. I always say I am organized chaos which means yes <laughs> I, I have a chaos. I, don't tell michelle but i'm working on my schedule still on my calendar but the thing is is that i tend to um and that's what i want to do is that at every level of business you want to keep bettering yourself i, I took a picture yesterday um i saved it to my computer and i'll just uh share it it's something along the lines of when you look into the mirror 
that's your competition, right? I'm not competing against her or him or, or whatever. I'm competing against me every campaign. So every campaign, I'm looking at my numbers of last year and I'm trying to beat those. And I'm looking at my last campaign and I'm trying to beat those. Yeah. I am my own competition and, or I'm looking at how many hours or what did I do for my business? And so I think that mm -hmm. it's, it's scheduling time and, um, you know, saying, okay, on, uh, and whether, however you do it, if you're going to pick days or times or whatever, however you're going to fit it into your schedule, you need to make sure that you set aside time. Uh, that's okay. the number one. You have to set aside the time and you have to set aside the time for different aspects of your leadership business. It's prospecting. I need to be talking to people and inviting people to join my team. Then I need to be training these people. I need to be developing them into leaders and I need to be, um, reaching out to my contracted, to my, uh, you know, deactive, um, showing people how to pay their bills so that they pay their bills on time, you know, and talking to them. <laughs> every aspect of the business has to be dealt with every week. You can't just sign people up and, and, and think that you're sitting back and doing nothing. It's, it's a constant uh, living organism, you're, right? And, and, and we have to be doing something every day for our business. And that's a part of any business. I mean, you have to work it to manage it and to make it grow. So um, what is the biggest challenge facing leaders today being your own boss? I think that, um, uh, I think that answering to yourself and being self-disciplined by doing the work, okay? And I think that having the right attitude. I think that doing the work and having the right attitude are the two most important things actually because if you are are not doing the work then you you know yes. if i stopped building my team even though it's one of the largest in canada if i stopped building my team it would shrink my business would get smaller and people on my team would fall off and i would be making less money right so you have mm -hmm. to be self-disciplined and work your business and i think that again like i said your attitude has to be a one that yes, you're going to have bad days. I'm not saying you're not going to have bad days, but you have those bad days, you know, with us, you know, maybe a sister leader or a brother leader, I guess, you know, or your district sales <laughs> manager, your upline, you have that. You don't spew it out everywhere and poison everybody. You, you deal with it, you get some help and in refocus and then and you continue on with your business. I think that having the right attitude and working your business every single day is it's that simple. It's kind of like, I always say, there's no magical words. There's no magical formula. It's do your work and have the right attitude and you will be successful. So it's kind of setting aside time. Um, if I was a new leader recruiting online, I should be setting some time apart for going on Facebook because we in reality we're always on Facebook it's on our phones it's on our laptops so that would be one of the things that I should be working on is doing making sure I put that time maybe two hours is that good through a day for someone new um, to start recruiting like two hours for your business a day or what would you suggest I would suggest I would say, actually, I don't think there's a number to give to that, Melissa. What I would actually say is okay. how much time do you have that you're willing you. to invest in your business? <laughs> yes. So it's not like, oh, yeah. I have my two hours, I'm done, I'm out of here. No. Exactly. Like, you know, it's, it's like, you know what? Today, I've got, uh, you know, I plan to be home today because of this crazy storm situation, right? Yeah, you know, it's not snowing outside my window right now. I plan to be here. And so <laughs> I have, I got up this morning early and I've been working my business the whole time. And, um, and that's what I plan to do. So I did it. And I think that it's like, you know, on, on another day, um, you know, like on Friday is going to be my glamour day. I know that I'm not going to yeah. have the time to put into that, but I know me, I know that I'll be checking things throughout the day. And I know that in the morning I'm going to wake up early and I'm going to go over some of my business and I'm going to do some business. And I know in the evening I'm going to do some business. So set your time, but make sure you do something every single day, right? Perfect. So it's whatever you're putting into it, you're going to get out of it as well. So oh, yes, yes. Now, if I was just a new leader, what resources would you recommend to me? 
to help okay. me with my my new theme. Okay, so uh, definitely our website. Uh, now that we have it new, uh, organized a little bit more there, we've got that info center. Everything yes. you need to know about business is in that info center and specifically in the new success guide. Okay, so you can open that puppy up and you can read through the whole thing is what I would really recommend. In fact, one of my okay. new uh, representatives that just joined at the end of campaign seven and she's already joining people on her team. Um, I said, you know, she's a, she's a reader. And I said, you know what? You read through that whole thing. Okay. We sat and talked for a couple yeah. of hours face to face over coffee, but it's like, uh, everything is there and then you're going to be able to learn uh, where to find things and you're going to be able to learn where mm -hmm. to direct others right so that you don't have to answer everybody's question it's kind of like in the old days and young people may not get this I don't know but in the old days if we asked our teacher something they'd say well go to the library and look it up in the cards you know in the cards right yeah you have to look it up <laughs> during the decimal system <laughs> and go find the book and you find it. now we just yeah. nobody does anything like that anymore right but the thing is is that we're teaching you we're empowering you mm -hmm. to find the answers for yourself because you want to know how to do these things, right? So I would direct you to the, the success guide. I would say register for every single webcast that comes up. Even if you can't okay. be on the webcast at the time that they state, if you register, then you will have um, immediate access as soon as, as it becomes available, you'll be able to watch it right away. Okay, and watch those okay. webcasts. There's always product information in there. Mm -hmm. There's recognition, of course, to encourage and motivate you. Even if it's not you that's being called out, you're seeing uh, recognition awesome. is that seeing that, oh my goodness, she did it. Well, I can do it too. That's how I look at recognition. If it's not me, it's somebody else. I'm like, wow, I could do that too if she could do it. <laughs> and um, and uh, and there's so product knowledge and there's and, and tips on how to run your business, right? So take advantage of that. Also, any division events uh, that you have in your area or national events like we had with our beautiful tour. When things like this yes. come up, oh my goodness register try to try to make it there if you can make it uh mary and i uh drove to to halifax for our beauty tour right it was six hours for us to get there and then we spent a couple of nights and all that fun stuff we were able to do that i know not everybody is but if you can make um plans for that then we recruited and we prospected when we were there right um also exactly. Every district, and I know that in Sunrise we have this, we're supposed to have this, is that we're supposed to have meetings, at, you know, AOMs and trainings in all the different areas. And so you can access those things. I know that myself, I have team meetings every two weeks, you know, in Moncton and Fredericton for the most part. Um, and, yes. uh, you know, go to those events because although we can learn so much online, there is something about being face-to-face, -face, you know, especially in our day and day. You know, we're kind of missing a little bit of that. I was reading, um, yeah. yeah, I was reading uh, something by a motivational person yesterday, actually, that was saying that everything has gone online. It was an article and everything has gone online, which is wonderful in some ways, but now we're missing that personal contact. And that yeah. personal contact can make a huge difference in some people's lives, right? And their businesses. Mm -hmm. So if you can have that, then do that. And there's great things to invite people to. You can always invite people that are interested or are brand new. Exactly. So we're in Moncton next week. Yes. <laughs> so we'll see you next week. Anyone watching, come and join Karen and I. <laughs> um, so uh, what advice would you give someone going into leadership? I would, I would, I would recommend, uh, you know, sitting down and with your upline or, or district sales manager and, and setting a goal, right? You want to plan. I think that planning is very important. It doesn't have to be a huge, crazy plan. Um, I personally am, a, is a, I, I am, a, what's it called? I've got to go in order, you know? I can't yes. say I'm going to, you know, if I was brand new, I can't say, okay, I want to be a senior executive leader. I, that's me, okay? Now, some people can. But I've got to say, I want to be a unit leader. Then as soon as I'm a unit leader, I want to be an AUL. I want to be an EL. I want to be a senior. That's, that's my brain. I've got to go in consecutive order, okay? But I exactly. have a plan. So however, whatever kind of planner you are, make a plan. Sit down with your upline or manager and make that plan and decide how much time, like Melissa said, are you willing to invest 
in making that yes. uh, that goal come true, right? And then, yes. you know, feed yourself. Feed yourself by watching those uh, webcasts, going to those meetings, reading that success guide, um, uh, listening to motivational uh, speakers or other social sellers and things like that. Get ideas. Mm -hmm. You know, um, you don't have to reinvent the wheel. Uh, I was told that one time I was creating all kinds of things like Karen, you know, you don't have to reinvent the wheel. And I just said that in my first <laughs> day to somebody asking about samples. You know, Avon supplies all kinds of wonderful samples. Let's use those samples. Yes. Let's put those, you know, let's use what we have. Don't take the time to do things that you don't have to do when Avon's already provided things for us. So, um, uh, you know, set your goals and, and decide that this really is a serious business for you and act like it. Right, you are. Mm -hmm. I'm identifying myself as a businesswoman. I have a business. I've got a million dollar business, and I want to act like I have a million dollar business. And I want to do the business practices of a true business, so that when somebody looks at me and says, "Ah, you're an Avon lady," <laughs> and I'm like, "Yeah, I am an Avon lady, and I've got a million dollar business. How about you?" Right? Do you know that there's a lot of, you know, there are a lot of brick and mortar businesses out there, like real stores and businesses that don't even do a million dollars of business a year, right? Yeah. And who yeah. are they to scoff at us for being with Avon or any other home-based business for that matter? Because we can have true, you know, empires. And so act like it. That's what I would recommend. Thank you. And you know, it, um, I'll bring it up once again. It, it wasn't something you walked into. This is something that you worked very hard for. Um, you know, you built your customer base yourself, getting out there. You've been building your team for many years now and you've had much success. So congratulations. Um, what are you doing to ensure you continue to grow a successful team? Okay, so I am, I try to be engaged with my, my team mates every mm -hmm. single day. Um, I okay. make myself accessible to them and I try to share my knowledge with them. So that's just a little basic thing. I set my own goals just because I'm a senior and I'm, you know, uh, I have a top team doesn't mean that I'm just sitting back and uh, filing my toenails. <laughs> yeah. I'm working my business every day and every uh, campaign I have set a goal for myself to add five new people every campaign and I would love to pop a new unit every other campaign now okay. that doesn't necessarily always happen but I have that as my goal I have something that I'm working towards and mm -hmm. so you know last campaign I, I was on the list there I saw the recognition that, that of three active new orders okay but then I yeah. think I also had eight um, reactivated people you know what i'm saying and so i'm working my business in all aspects but i'm trying to make sure that i set a goal for myself so that i do something i could sit back and do nothing for a number of campaigns and i would still have a business my team is big enough where i could do that but that doesn't serve my purposes of bettering myself and looking in the mirror and trying to, to compete with myself, right? It doesn't set mm -hmm. the example for my team members. So for if you're a sales leader and you are not um, active in your business and you expect your team members to be active in, in their business, not yes. going to happen. And any of the moms out there, you can't, uh, you know, if you've got kids, uh, you know, you can't say to your kids, uh, you, you know, do what I, you know, do what I say, not what I do. No, they're going to, they're going to uh, follow after you. They're going to do what you do. And if you do nothing, then they're going to do nothing. And it's the same with the team, quite frankly, you know, you're the coach, you know, and, and, and you're trying to help them and teach your, your team to be successful. So set the example and set, set the bar high, right? You know, and if you're a brand new leader, that's okay. We're all brand new leaders. We all start in the same place and you can work your way up and they can work up with you. That's kind of the fun thing. I think too, when I say to a, to a leader, you know, a brand new person, you know, bring somebody to Avon with you, somebody yes. that you can run with and pace with so that you can achieve all of these goals together. I mean, how wonderful is that to have somebody that you really enjoy and love being with and you're running, you know, the race together and achieving all of these things together? Mm -hmm. It's fantastic. So my last, it's not even really a question, but for you, 
if you had a few famous last words to say to maybe a leader that is down and out right now, um, maybe someone that's not sure if she can do this, what, what would you say to them? I would say that Avon is a very simple business, you know, and we, and Michelle says it, our division manager all the time, you know, it's mascara and lipstick. Um, mm -hmm. But so, and it's things that we love. So you love your Avon and that's why you're with Avon. And if you, um, I would just like to, to, to see somebody get focused. So, you know, decide what you want and, and, and go for it. You know, um, if you need help or that helping hand, you have a team, you have an upline, you have a manager, you have got all of Avon Canada rooting for you. I, you know, one team, one Avon, we are all here to support you. And, Look ahead and look at other people and see, you know, what they've achieved and know that you can do it too. If this is, you know, this has been done. If you want to be an AUL, other people have been AUL. It's possible and you can do it. Take the tools that Avon has given you, practice them, you know, be have good work ethic and you'll be able to do that. If you want to be an executive, you want, you want to be a senior. If you want to go to Vienna, if you want to go on all these trips that they have, if you want all these extra things, if you want that extra money in your pocket, then make that decision and go for it. Do something for you, your business every day. Do something for your team every day. Put the effort in. Nothing good comes without effort, right? Everything that, that, exactly. that is good, you have to put effort into. You know, this is a business, act like it's a business. And, uh, you know, I just am glad that all the years, all these 15 years, have I ever gotten down in the dumps or have I ever been discouraged or have I ever run into walls and, and, and potholes and, and personal issues and business issues? Of course. But you know, the thing is, you've got to keep going. You don't give up. Don't give up, right? Sometimes right. it's going to be hard, but you know what? Grab somebody's hand or, you know, and you sales leaders, you grab their, the hands of your people on your team and move forward together because we all need somebody's hands sometimes, right? And, but imagine the things that you can do. Uh, last thing about that is it's like I've said before a thousand times is what makes you successful in this business are those good business practices, but stick to itiveness. If you stick to it and do not give up and do not get overwhelmed and do not get discouraged, then you will be successful. I mean, I guarantee it because I've seen it. And the people who work and stick to it are successful people. And you can be that because it's here for everybody. None of us are special, but all of us can do this together. Thank you. You know what, Karen, you just said it perfectly. Um, it's always a pleasure talking with you. Um, I think it would be fun to maybe get a couple of comments going on our video when you do post it. See what would be the next thing they want us to talk about. Okay, I think it would be okay. interesting if we maybe start doing this, you know, on the weekly basis, maybe even twice a week and put it out there. What do you, ladies and gentlemen, want to see next time from Karen and I? Oh, good Let idea. In the comments and um, we'll go from there and maybe we can do a couple more very soon. Sounds good, girl. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Take care. Bye. Right, bye. -bye.